Good day and thank you for joining us in another MYOB Advanced Training video. In this video, we will have a look at creating and updating customers. A customer account contains the information about the customer to whom a company delivers services or goods. In a customer account, you specify the company contact information, the finance accounts used to record amounts related to sales to the customer, the credit verification policy and the billing settings that apply to the customer. In your MYOB Advanced system, navigate to Receivables, Profiles and click on Customers. Click on the Add New Record icon that will take you to the Customers form. The required information for a customer is Customer ID, Customer Name, Country, Statement Cycle, Sales and Cash Discount Finance Accounts and a Customer Class. The system automatically assigns the default customer class to each new customer. Because we have specified this class in the default customer class ID box on the Accounts Receivable Preference form, the system also inserts the settings from the customer class into each new customer account to speed the process of creating new customers in the system. Now, complete all of the relevant fields and save your changes after you're done. On the customer form, you can change this customer status to active, on hold, credit hold, inactive or a one-time customer. To enable credit verification for a customer, navigate to credit verification rules. You can choose between days past due, credit limit, limit and days past due or disabled. In this scenario, I'm going to choose credit limit. Remember to enter your limit and remember to save your changes. On the contacts tab, you can add the customer's contact persons and their information. To add a new contact, click on add contact on the toolbar. This will navigate you to the contacts form. On this form, you can create new contacts who is associated with the customer and view the details of existing contacts. A business account can have multiple contacts associated with it. On the contacts form, complete the contact's first name, the last name, and enter the job title. On the details tab, complete the email address and a contact number. On the CRM section, you can choose this person's preferred contact method. On the additional info tab, this tab contains additional information about the contact. Generally, the information about the lead converted to this contact. The activities tab has a table with the list of activities associated with the contact. On this tab, you can associate particular tasks, events and other activities with the contact. The Relations tab indicates relations between this contact and existing customers or employees of your company. In each row of the table, you specify a customer contact or employee who will receive a carbon copy of notification emails related to the contact. The Opportunities tab this tab displays the list of opportunities associated with the contact. The Campaigns tab. This will indicate the history of campaigns the contact participated in. The Marketing List tab has a table listing the contact subscription to marketing lists. You can add a subscription, remove an existing subscription or make a subscription inactive. The Notifications tab contains mailings the contact is subscribed to. 
To subscribe a customer contact to mailings defined for customer, use the recipient area on the mailing settings tab of the customer's form. This concludes our training video on creating and updating customers. Please let us know with your feedback and please join us again for more as we explore MYB Advanced through our training videos. Thank you for watching.